Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance, and this is an M44, the Tier 6 American SPG, and we're on the south spawn of Malinovka. Now, the commander of this vehicle is Angel's daddy. Uh, I presume Angel is his daughter. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, he wouldn't be a daddy, would he? Um, yep, so Angel's daddy and south spawn Malinovka. And the clock's running down. And battle has commenced. He's moving towards the bottom end of the map. This is a uh, encounter battle. It's unusual actually to take up a position this far south, but um, I have seen people go into the corner uh, on encounter battles, uh, right into the very corner of the map. The only d danger, of course, is if somebody sends a scout all the way around the map uh, to get to the uh, attack the RT, he's going to be the first to know about it. Um, it also means that you've got a much longer flight time to hit targets that are up on top of the hill. But we've got an SU-100 here. Lining up the shot. Rounds out. Oh, he stunned him. <laughs> he pulled back at the last second. That's unfortunate. But we've got a whole load of targets up there. Especially a Leo that's reached the uh, windmill. And he's trying to use that windmill for cover. Okay, going off an M4A3E2. Leading the shot, round out. Direct hit! 251 hit points, that's a good strike. Effectively has put that easy 2 out of the game because he's got virtually no hit points at all. 48, he's going to be a one-shot kill for whoever sticks a shell into him. Okay, that T20 is almost one shot, but oh, that round just a little too short of the M4. But here we've got a whole bunch of them, two KV2s and a 3601. But instead, he's going after the Scorpion. Now that's a much lightly armoured vehicle. And that round hit target, so he's done a lot of damage to that one. Right, which one's he going for first? The 3601. Now it's pretty light armor for a heavy. Okay, SU-100. Rounds out. Oh, he's moving away. But he still splashes him for 66. Now that 3601. It's got fairly light armor. Most things can penetrate it, even if it's angled. They tend to stay at the back of the of any con confrontation. To avoid being hit. Now he, I think he tracked him there. Two critical hits. One of those is bound to be a track. But we've lost sight of him because uh, he's on that lower um, ridge line. Okay, going after the T29. Rounds out. Now that round fell short because he's not he's not putting the dot the other side of the vehicle. He needs to put the dot the other side to ensure that the shell lands. Uh, or has to go through the vehicle in order to uh, to do the most damage. Like that. Okay, and that Rudy has been killed before he can shoot. There was the Scorpion there. You can see the Scorpion was actually badly damaged. And his teammates coming up to that uh, Type 64 is going to illuminate that uh, Scorpion very shortly. But he's going after the T25-2 first. Rounds out. No, it fell behind the T T25. Okay, that 3601 still got most of his health. Not, not anymore. He's only got about half his health now. Okay, he's loaded. He can get it as it goes up the hill. Rounds out. Well, 132 hit points of damage and some stun assist there. KV2. Very little on the way of health. Again, he's aiming short. He needs to aim long. That's it. That's better. That's it. So the shell has to go through the vehicle to get to the ground. That's much better. 112, and he picked up the stun assist. Same for the 3601. No, not yet. There's the Scorpion. He's coming around to try and get at the Type 64. Oh, and he's been killed. Okay, 4257. That's a Swedish autoloader. Tier 6. Round out. That would have been near him, I'm pretty sure. It was. It splashed him. 
Okay, the 64 is doing a good job spotting here. He's requesting fire. Almost ready for the next round. Working out where it's going to be. Round out. No, it fell short. No, it's going up to the hill. Okay, SU-100 dialing in. They lost the Type 64. The 4257 got it. Oh, direct hit there on the SU-100. 231 hit points. That was a good shot. Right, the SU-100 is having a go at the AT-15A. The AT-15A is using the windmill as a defense and takes out the SU-100. There's the T-29 now. Needs to put a shell into that. Almost ready. Now. Rounds out. Direct hit. Or was that him? No. Um, it was the other M44 who took him out. Okay. Now there's only two enemy RT left. So everybody is piling over to the other side of the map to find them. As quickly as they can. Now my suspicion is that they'll be in grid squares A2, A3 or A4. They could be in B2. Ah, oh, there's, yep, there's A4. Okay, so I think the other one is going to be... There he is. Yes, yeah, A2. It's because on, on these maps, it's fairly easy to work out where they should be because uh, uh, they always spawn uh, uh, somewhere on the north side of that uh, little uh, water area. Okay, let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's a third class tank of Angel Daddy in the M44. He also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least uh, five critical hits. He got 14 critical hits in that one, five alone off the M56 Scorpion. Um, he also picked up a Confederate medal because he hit more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. At least six tanks who were subsequently destroyed by other members of his team. You can see them there. He did 1,599 hit points of damage. Came second on damage. Uh, he didn't get any kills. So he was well done the table uh, on when it came to kills. Uh, but he did score fairly nicely. In fourth place with 667 base XP. He fired 14 rounds, got 3 direct hits, 3 penetration, 9 splash damage. He did damage of 1,599 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. He hit 7 of the enemy, but didn't kill any. But he did damage assistance of 48 hit points and stun assistance of 140. He caused by 12 stuns. He received 21,433 credits. And after ammunition resupply, he still had 18,221 left. He received base XP of 667, uh, but there's a holiday ops bonus that's not showing here. So he actually took away 787 experience points in total. So yes, he's definitely improving, as he says there, uh, getting better mission results all the time and picking up epic medals now. So well done, Angel's Daddy. Keep practicing and the M44 that you drive will become the terror of any tier 8 uh, tank once uh, you get into a tier 8 battle. That's when you really pick up lots of medals because uh, you can't avoid it because you're doing just so much damage. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay I'll be featuring in our next video.